Hello everyone. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining in. And if you feel this channel is helping you to learn anything new, do like, share and subscribe. And let's see what we have today. Today we are going to touch base three groups in Active Directory namely everyone, users and authenticated users. So before going ahead, let's look at the background. So we must remember in order to maintain proper access controls, it's crucial to understand what every entity or an access control list represents including the implicit identities that are built into any Windows environment. And uh, there are a lot of built-in accounts and built-in groups with ambiguous names and vague descriptions which are very confusing. So one question we often get is uh, what is the difference between everyone authenticated users and users group in Active Directory. So let's see uh, these groups one by one. So let's look at the first group that is authenticated users. Now the authenticated users group consists of all users and computers that are say successfully authenticated by Active Directory. That's the reason name says authenticated users. It consists of users and computers that are authenticated by Active Directory. So that means it includes domain users that is your regular Active Directory users, your employees, computer accounts, servers, workstations which are domain joined and uh, service accounts as well say special purpose accounts used for starting a service or running an application. So let us understand the scope of authenticated users now. Now this group has a broader scope compared to the users group. Uh, users group we will be discussing say in our upcoming slides. So this group has broader scope compared to the users group because it includes user accounts but also the computer accounts and the service accounts. So authenticated users is more secure than everyone group because it ensures that only users and systems with valid credentials can be so can access resources. So if you see the properties of this say uh, authenticated uh, users uh, uh, say group you will see that the users group is the member of this authenticated users group. So we will be say looking at the users group in our upcoming session. Let's talk about the everyone group now. So now uh, let's go back a little. So historically the everyone group includes all users including those accessing resources without authentication such as let's say anonymous users, guests or un say authenticated users. But Microsoft said that okay from Windows Server 2003 anonymous users were removed from the everyone group to make it a little bit secure. So now it mainly includes authenticated users, users say who have provided the credentials but not guest or anonymous users. 
So let us understand the scope of the everyone group. So this everyone group is a is the broadcast uh, in scope as say it's a broadest let's say scope, and it includes authenticated users, guests, potentially other entities like built-in service accounts, depending on the version of our Active Directory. So this makes it very general and it should be say used very cautiously and carefully as the permissions granted to everyone group say could allow many types of accounts including non-domain join accounts to access sensitive say resources. And assigning permissions to everyone grants access to any user who has logged on to the system. This can be risky because it doesn't differentiate between internal user, external user or even temporary account. So this group is say is very less say seldom used or an administrator will not use this group uh, say often. Now let's talk about the users group. The users group in Active Directory includes domain users who have been explicitly created in the system by the administrator. It is made up of standard users, uh, user accounts created within the domain, usually the people working in any organization. So this group typically includes local local user accounts say on the servers or workstations and let's say normal user accounts within our active directory domain. Now you have to remember one thing user group does not include service accounts, computer accounts or any guest accounts by the default. So it does not include service accounts, computer accounts and guest accounts. It only includes or explicitly includes the users created by administrators. Let us understand the scope now. now. The users group is more restricted compared to everyone group only regular domain users say people who are the part of active directory with personal account has uh, say are included here in this particular group or are the members of this group let's say example a company might have say 1000 or 100 employees and uh, all of them are the part of users group by default all of them are the part of users group so however this group wouldn't include computer account so computer accounts are excluded from this group and uh, say that is the account representing computer in the domain or accounts for automated services. So this users group explicitly or the members of this users groups are explicitly user accounts created by the administrators not the computer accounts. So the users group is most often used when you want to allow standard domain users access to resources such as say shared files, printers or say any application because this group only consists of standard users created by the administrator, the employees of the organization. So this is the properties of users group and if you look at the description over here it clearly says users are prevented from making accidental or intentional system wide changes and can run most of the application. So any any user except administrator are prevented from making any changes but they can run most of the applications. 
and if you look at the members of this users group we can see that authenticated users and domain users are the members of this particular group named users so let us summarize say, what we have uh, seen today today we see just touch base the basics of everyone users and authenticated users group in our active directory so hope you have enjoyed today's session thank you for joining and if you feel this channel is helping you to learn anything new do like share and subscribe the channel and have a wonderful day